and the Holy Spirit has led the people to receive the word and go forth with the message. What is the message? Let's look at three points. The message of revolution, therefore, is threefold. Number one, Christ. There can be a lot of revolutions that happen all around the world, but doesn't mean Jesus is the center of it. Yeah. We have the American Revolution, we have the you know, Chinese Revolution, French Revolution. It doesn't mean that Christ is the center at all. Uh, we can have the Industrial Revolution, etc. In fact, a lot of people are using that word revolution. People are just using that word, and actually what they mean is change. What they mean is a phenomenon happening. You know, people are talking about it. People are talking about it. Uh, so they use that word. But we are about Jesus. We, 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 the center of our revolution is love and God is love. Jesus is the way, the truth and the life. He must be our focus and our, our, our example. And because He also sacrificed, we sacrifice. He was selfless, so we are also selfless. He came and did something, so we also want to not just talk, but do something. Amen? So Christ. Uh, number two is change. I talked about that. Change is our vision, our purpose. If we come up with revolution and we go and do revolution in our schools, recess revolution, campus revolution, etc., and there is no change, what for? Well, no, why waste your time? There must be transformation. Number three, the message of revolution is about a cause. One thing I told uh, Pastor Andy some time ago when he said to me, Pastor, you know, CFs are closing down. It's so hard to reach young people in schools. You know, it almost looked like there's a conspiracy because someone knows that youth meetings are held on Saturdays. So let's put classes on Saturdays. It's almost like a conspiracy that church meets on Sunday. And so now even sports days are on Sunday. What's going on? Once upon a time, they never touch our weekends. And so we were able to reach out to young people and, and preach the gospel to many and you know, have youth activities. Now, they're even encroaching into the time that we traditionally use. So God give us wisdom of how to you know, overcome what the enemy is trying to do. Amen? When the enemy comes in like a flood, the Lord will raise up a standard against him. Amen? So there's always going to be a way that God is going to show us to overcome what the enemy strategizes against us, his church. So don't worry, God is on our side, he's with us. Uh, in fact, I would say we are on his side and, uh, and he will take care of us, amen? But I told Pastor Andy this some time ago, I said what we really need in our schools is not just CFs. I love CFs, I thank God for CFs. I pray that they grow more than they get lesser. But, but what is really needed, in fact, in all of our lives is a cause, a cause worth living for, a cause, a cause worth dying for. And if your CF is only going to be like how it was the last 20 years, on the third floor, in the last class, with one guitar and three people singing, and then that CF to you, you pat each other's back and say, see you next week. You open the Bible, you know, and regurgitate what someone else taught you in church. And that's all, that's, I mean, it's good, but it's all. No wonder nobody misses you. Uh, uh, a CF without a cause is like lion without teeth. Or claws. A lion that's meant to be a lion becomes a pussycat. You know? And, and so not, not only not, no teeth, no claws. Because no cause. And, and, and you, you, you don't even make a dent in your school. So I, 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 I heard it from the Lord. The Lord says, there must be a cause. Even a church, even a CF, even uh, a Christian's uh, life must have a purpose, a cause why you and I live, why you and I are where we are, do what we do. Then if you take away a cause, even from a church, that church is as good as dead. Take away a cause from a CF, as good as, as, good as close. That's why it got close. But you, you find it very hard to close a cause. You can close a CF. You can even close a building. But can you close a cause? You can't. You can't. You can't close people from loving another person. You can't close Christians from loving. Whether I have a building or not, I can still love people, no? You can't close a cause. There's no denomination to a cause. There's no church name to a cause. I thank God for that. 
Recess Revel and Revolution is not just about another denomination. No, we're not about that here. Thank God God is using us and many of us come from a particular church in KL, but we just feel privileged to be used of God. Somebody has to do the work, somebody has to go out. But thank God, here we have got partners. And, and in different places, we are building people uh, or friendships rather and partnerships that are really divine. It's divine. Only God could have brought us together. Amen. So that's the message. You need to know that and you need to spread it out uh, to your friends who ask you what revolution is about. The heart of revolution. Let's get into that. The heart. 